Good morning, folks. Today we're seeing an uptick in solar flaring and eruptive activity. We'll check out those events and the sunspots. We've got an interesting study on Mars and one on geomagnetic changes to our planet. But let's begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star where we find more eruptive activity than before kind of came out of nowhere. Minor M-class flares at the southern active region, then a near X-class flare, M9, top left off the northern incoming limb, and then more flaring at the Earth-facing spots. You'll be able to see that here with the filament release and then the flare flash. It was climbing slowly until this morning when the M9 and another strong M-class flare occurred. The M9 was the one that shot off top left just behind the limb, but afterwards, the second bigger flare this morning hit the sunspot group we've had our eyes on. It's the only major sunspot group on the Earth facing half of the sun. The one that shot the M9 isn't in view yet, top left. And while yesterday this active region was totally split magnetically, that is changing here this morning. And it's the reason for the slightly bigger flare. We'll be watching this closely today. It could be the flaring uptick we've been anticipating. Up next, let's go out to Mars. They have a new theory about how its moons formed, thinking that a huge asteroid was torn apart in orbit and the pieces slowly changed their tracks and collided over time, creating a vast dust ring around the planet, not unlike what we see at Saturn with its rings. They say that those rings then came together to form Phobos and Deimos, the two moons of Mars. Further testing of this hypothesis is planned. Lastly up today, folks, an excellent paper on geomagnetic excursions and reversals. We're in the former. Ultimately, they don't believe that they're all that different. Merely the lasting polarity switch and the time of duration are all that separates them. Alas, in both such events, we lose a tremendous amount of our protection from space radiation and their impacts on the weather and the creatures living here is undeniable and very extreme. Folks, we've got big events coming up at the ranch in weeks and months ahead. Next conference is next weekend. Pick a day, pick a week, come out and spend some time with the observers, observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.